Привет! So, hi, Paul. My hi. name is Vicky. I work for the biggest Russian radio station, Europa Plus, and I'm really happy to see you. Thank you. I, I'm happy to see you too. Thanks for talking yeah. to me today. In my childhood, I remember that boys in the yard were playing in ghost uh, busters, and they tried to make proton packs and ghost traps using everything around, like uh, boxes, uh, stones, everything. So uh -huh. what about you? Were you actually a fan? And uh, do you remember your feelings and emotions about this story when you saw it for the first time? Well, I was a fan, certainly. I, I think everyone my age was. I was a kid when this movie came out, and it was a big deal. All the kids at my school were saying, have you seen this movie Ghostbusters? I was excited about it because I knew some of the cast and thought they were really funny. And then I went to the theater to see it, expecting it to be funny, which it was, but it was also a little scarier than I had anticipated. And I thought, I don't think I have ever seen a movie like this where it seems kind of scary, but also really funny. So it had a big effect on me as well as everyone I know. And clearly, many other people too because it's stood the test of time yes so what was your first reaction when you got the offer to join this story well i was excited for you know i'm always it's always exciting when somebody wants you to be in anything i mean to get a job is thrilling and then when it and i was a fan of jason reitman's so i was excited at the idea of getting to work with him the fact that it was a ghostbusters movie was <laughs> surreal and really exciting And he said, uh, you know, I got, I was able to read the script and uh, I, with each page, I just kept discover, discovering more things that I thought, oh, this is such a perfect choice to do this this way. And then, you know, I'd read something that was connected to the original and I'd, I was giddy, I'd get excited. And by the time I finished the script, you know, it was obviously a, a, an honor and a no brainer. I would love to be in it. Um, but I thought this is a script, this is the perfect way to kind of continue this story. And this story also works in and of itself. This story of these kids and this adventure and this family really kind of stands up on its own. And I loved it. Is it easier to work with uh, child actors than with adults or not? It depends on who the actor is, but... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> And um, I've worked with some actors that are adults that you might actually consider children. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I loved working with these actors and there's something pretty great about working with kids. There's something kind of carefree and filterless and real and people that are too young to be jaded by all of it and they're enthusiastic and kids are the coolest. Like I'd much rather hang with kids or animals than grownups, yeah. uh, you know, like I want to hang, not that kids are animals, I didn't mean it like that, although <laughs> I have worked with some kids that are animals. It's kind of the best because you don't know exactly what you're going to get and uh, and it's just fun to play around with dialogue and, and in scenes and just take it in really fun directions and if you can throw something, if you can say something to a kid and they aren't expecting it, like even if you change a line to see what they <laughs> do, it's always the greatest. It's amazing. But did you have um, a lot of plays for improvisation? All, all yeah. jokes, yeah? Yeah, we did. I mean, you know, the script was pretty, uh, it, it was really well written and it wasn't, you know, it was airtight, really. You could just, we just kind of did the script. But there was a scene where Carrie and I were on a date and Jason asked us to just you know, talk as if we were on a date. Let's kind of play around with it a little bit. But, um, you know, all the stuff that really works in that scene was actually in the script. So um, we we remained true to it. And, And what about real life? Uh, did you have any mystical moments that you don't understand, still don't understand, and you cannot uh, explain to yourself? Uh, yes, I've a I have had several of those. I continue to. Sometimes I have it in regards to my entire career. <laughs> I can't <laughs> explain how it happened. Uh, and I'm just going with it. It's thrilling. But uh, yeah, I've had I've had weird stuff happen to me. And uh, I do think that there's so you know, so much that we don't quite understand. But I don't I don't I don't dwell on it or live in that world too much.
So thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye. Кажется, мы открыли врата ада. Привет. Скучали без нас? 